I'm Terry Schmidt. I'm so glad you joined me. If we haven't met before, I'm known as the Practical Management Consultant because I'm passionate about teaching motivated men and women what they need to know and do to succeed in this rapid change world. Over the course of my career, I've helped many thousands of people to be more effective, both in private and public sector organizations of all types and sizes in 36 countries worldwide. Along the way, I've discovered what works. I'm not afraid to poke holes into popular management slogans which are false, misleading, or downright dangerous. One that annoys me in particular is the term SMART goals. You've probably heard of it, but SMART goals are actually quite dumb, and let me show why. First of all, what are SMART goals? They're defined as specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timed. Here's why they're dumb. First of all, there's no agreed definition of what a goal means. Ask your colleagues to define a goal, to write it down. I bet you will not have consensus. Second of all, it's way too simplistic. Strategies and projects are more complex and require greater precision. Third of all, it implies projects have a single goal, whereas they really have multiple objectives, is what I like to call them, or goals. Fourth, it ignores the logical critical linkages needed for success, the linkages between the actions you can take and the ultimate result. So here's how to make your goals smarter. Let's begin by asking the question, what are we trying to accomplish and why? Putting the emphasis on the why and also defining some of the what's. You will end up with a series of short phrases, I call these objectives, which we can then arrange into a logical order. This question helps us to define and align objectives into what I call a cause-effect hierarchy, a logical hierarchy, to form an if-then hypothesis, which relates objectives to each other. It lets us apply some common sense logic and simple scientific thinking. Let's do some examples. Have you seen the movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Cosner? He was a Iowa farmer going bankrupt, standing in the middle of his cornfield, and he had this idea to build a baseball field. You probably know the classic line from that movie. It is, if we build it, then they will come. That's an example of an if-then relationship among objectives. And there's an even higher level objective in this that motivated the project, and that is to save the farm. So let's put some user-friendly words on this. The what is what we can make happen, build the baseball field. Why do we want to build the baseball field so that they, being baseball players and fans, will come? Why do we want to do that? So we can save the farm. Now we have three levels of objectives here. They could all be called goals. Let's call them objectives so we can get more precise in our definitions. Having done this, you can then ask the question, how? And you get to activities, cut the corn, plow the field, and so forth. What I see in practice is people getting a simplistic goal and jumping to the activities or the how way too early. Here's another example concerning this video program. If we learn strategic project management skills, which you definitely will learn these superpowers, then you can apply them in your work and life. If you apply them, you will get outstanding results. This is the what we can make happen together. This is the why. And this is the bigger picture why that motivates this whole video series. Having that structure in place, that if-then logic, we can then go to the question of how. And you watch the videos, apply the ideas, and so forth. So again, if-then logic, connecting a hierarchy of objectives. Let's do another example from an organizational setting. Concerns software development. The logic might be if we develop improved software, then managers will use the software. If managers use the software, then we can increase operational efficiency. It's a what, a why, and a big picture why. And the importance of this is by aligning objectives, we can define what success looks like at each of these levels of objectives. And if we do that before going on to action steps, we'll be in much better shape. After we have this hierarchy in place, we can come and identify the action steps, and that's the how. Let me give you some definitions of these different levels of objectives. The why, I'm going to call the goal. Okay, the goal now is the big picture context or benefit. 
we've created some precise meaning for each of these levels. The why beneath that, I'm going to call the purpose. It's the change expected from putting the deliverables or the end products in place. The if we build it, they will come. Them coming is the purpose. The what is the what we can make happen. Let's call those the outcomes, the deliverables, the specific results that we can put in place given good management of our activities and resources. The how then becomes inputs or the tasks and resources to get there. Now there's a definite, specific, logical relationship among these objectives. And we can put it in the form of a phrase. If inputs, then outcomes. If outcomes, then purpose. If purpose, then goal. So we've structured our project into a strategic hypothesis, given much more precision and much more rigor to our efforts. The benefits of if-then thinking, first of all, it makes strategy easier to develop, helps create shared understanding because people can talk about it and agree or disagree and reach consensus. Third, it aligns our projects to the big picture. Finally, dramatically increases the success rate because so many projects produce outcomes but they don't ripple up to the strategic intent. So let's go beyond SMART goals. SMART goals, again, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timed, but they're missing the essential element of a hierarchy, of hierarchical links. So let's just insert another word in here. And the word is hierarchical. So now we have SMART goals. SMART goals, obsolete, inadequate in today's fast moving times. The new paradigm, smart goals. Say it with me, it's fun, it just rolls off your tongue. One, two, three, smart goals. That's right. And in the future videos, we'll build on the foundation we've, we've established today and take it to the next level, all with the intention of increasing your strategic superpowers. Now you can benefit from my expertise by watching my free content-rich video training series. To get started today, simply go to strategicplanningacademy.com, sign in, and you'll receive these videos packed with solid information to help you think bigger, plan smarter, act faster, and get great results. Go there now, and I'll see you soon.